Yes, sir. Kelby is in the Lil building. Hello, Kelby, uh, also known as Kelby the P. As a matter of fact, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me broke. So That's yeah, right. Out here today. And then co-hosting with me. Vic says, Gabriel, this Flurger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, almighty for the album, because the record too short, you dig what I'm saying? No, the real deal, you know what I'm saying? Holyfield, you know what I'm saying? Not the impersonation. Damn, he just came with a whole little monologue like OJ the Juice. <laughs> that was fire. Um, okay, so I wanted to, like, hop in here yeah. and attempt to, you know, have a conversation that perhaps can build on some of the other conversations that have already happened. Yeah. So let's <laughs> let's lay this all out. So. Yeah. You had a very, very uh, viral appearance on Soft White Underbelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what happened. Like, what what was your life like in the lead up to that? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, in the lead up to that, I was uh, I was hustling. I don't want to say specifics, but I was doing a little a little shit in the streets. And then basically, I was like, you know what? I feel like you've already filled this in about what you were doing. Yeah, in the I mean, well, well, Sharp made some accusations about what I was doing. I don't want to admit or uh, deny those, but okay. yeah, basically, I was getting money and shit. And then that hustle came to an abrupt end when I got raided. So then I switched into another one because I seen some people that needed help, and you know, I just jumped into the game. Describe getting raided though. Oh, uh, well, I was outside vaping and shit, and like, you know, still hustling. And the girls were inside, um, and basically. Just got a no-knock raid. They came in. They pulled me outside some undercovers, and they, like, drew their guns on me and shit like that, put me in the squad car. And then they all just were, like, inside my house and, like, yo, we got a warrant to search your person and your your vehicle and, and your house. But they were suspicious of you probably. Yeah, they, they were trying to say in that I was, like, you know, drug dealing or, or something like that. Okay. And but you don't have a case as a result of this? Oh, uh, nah. I never heard back from them, honestly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so then you decide, like, how did the software underbelly opportunity even come about? Uh, well, I've been trying to do some like online stuff and just get that internet money and also promote uh, my girls' OnlyFans. Okay. Uh, so basically, check out Crystal Roses on OnlyFans. By the way, she's going up. Um, but now, basically, I was just trying to promote that stuff. So I went on Soft White, talking about my story, and then yeah, that just kind of blew up from there. So what was the feedback like? Like, what would you describe as the most common? comments that you saw in response to the soft on belly thing that were really yeah. driving it being viral oh just a lot of hateful shit about the way i was dressed mostly people was like and also i feel like they took a lot of the shit i said out of context like when i said i was homeless that was because i just got evicted after the raid the apartments had like kicked us out with some section eight that i was staying with my family and the girls so they kicked us out of that and then a lot of people were like oh why is he dressed like a party city pimp fake chains and all that but you know it's all real you know the the outfit i feel like that's the most thing that people said was being disrespectful but i was just doing that to get attention but all my jewelry is legit and stuff so uh, been diamond tested, suspect you know. fill me in on that like is there yeah. is there something expected of you before you've earned the stripes to wear certain types of like pimp outfits Nah, it wasn't even that it was like we felt like that shit like the equivalent for to to, to get everybody to understand kind of like kind of like blackface mm. you know what i'm saying like that shit was kind of like like it, it looked like a costume you, you get what I'm saying? Right. It's like he I came in here. How that's a he came in here wearing that shit like in his head, like, oh, this is what pimps is supposed to look like. I got my little dollar sign chain, my yeah, little fur I got coat. Two of them. <laughs> but you do you like, do you feel like you know you could have rocked the same fit or something similar? But I mean, I'm true to this, so of course I could. But that's well, the so same thing. Though. Like I'm black. Blackface, you get what I'm saying? Like okay. it's like wearing blackface. But so, so like, but aren't there I, white pimps at these pimp conventions yeah, yeah. and white shit? Folks, white of folks, white folks is a popping ass white pimp. And you didn't I even know who he was no, no, no. until right now. But until I, the know new interview. I know who we he is. I know we asked you that last interview. You had no clue. <laughs> you didn't now ask me you about no white pimps last time. The nigga sharp said, "You know who the fuck white folks is?" You was like, "No, I don't." You didn't know who the fuck that was. He told me who that was on Facetime before the interview. Exactly. You didn't know who white folks was until we informed you. Until sharp informed me on a Facetime before this interview. Until a pimp informed yeah. you yeah. who wife who exactly. But you he know what I'm no saying? There's until, white pimps until out there. Somebody informed so I don't him get how it's, how it's blackface. That, you that, that seems like you're bringing up racism where it doesn't need no, to no, be. No, 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 no. That was just a um that was just an analogy to get everybody to understand. I'm not saying that you were doing it's, it's you an said analogy I was doing blackface, to basically. get everybody to understand. Yeah, because you 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 pulled up in a pimp costume. He was saying it was like blackface, but is, is it the fact costume. that he's white in general or is the fact that he's so new in the game? It's just he's it's just because He's not really doing that shit in his head. He came, <laughs> but I'm like, really doing you that shit. My saying? pockets like, will prove came, that. That's like, what's a good analogy? 
Well, I just gave one, like blackface, but let's do another one. Like, like, like a nigga who go to the gym with all the shit and he looking like he finna ball the fuck up. You feel me? And then when he get the ball, he can't do shit. But he came in his head like, this is what ballers look like. I'm going to get the headband, the socks, and all that <laughs> shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, but what if, that's what, what I'm saying. What if he starts learning how to play ball and then he starts balling harder than other motherfuckers? Right? Is he still impersonating at that point? Everybody's a little kid trying <laughs> yeah, to beat like Michael we, Jordan we at one point, somewhere. right? And then right? Well, uh, the next day, boom, yeah. you are Michael Jordan. You got to crawl before you can walk, bro. So everybody starts somewhere, and I feel like y'all were hating on that because not even the race thing, because I feel like we're all the same no matter what color we are, but I feel like it's because of my age and because of how new I was to the game that y'all just attacked me for that it. That has nothing to do with that. I don't really? Feel like, I don't feel like you're That's new to shit. That's not what it seemed like. You hate I don't white feel people. Like you're, no, not at all. I feel like you're not new to shit. I just feel like you're an impersonator for your SoundCloud career. You're not new to shit, nigga. But bro, I don't even here. focus on music. You came up in I here focus talking on the streets. You, I focus on getting money. You came talking about you professing old school, and then you was like, we, yeah. we actually, where you learned this shit from, and then you said, yeah, I watched you. I watched short on YouTube, like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Because I, no, I have no it's not some mentors shit in real you life. You could watch on 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 YouTube and in person and, and start nigga, getting money from getting it? the fucking streets, nigga, and what get some real experience. But what money? But getting the, real experience. Experience. All, all these Every drill day. kids Every are looking day. at older drill rappers experience. and fucking getting but influenced really by that, right? Outside drilling though, but and he's really, really outside pimping. Nah, nah, really, nah. Really, I brought two bitches with me. I ain't never seen none of your bitches. That don't mean he got some work on the couch. None of your bitches, right? None of your bitches. Because I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck? I look like bringing some bitches. In here. Really? You're a clown, well, nigga. You, you gonna get you life for this it. shit. <laughs> you gonna get life for playing around, so how nigga. Am I gonna get I'm really life doing this shit. What the life. fuck do Come I look like now. bringing Sounds some prostitutes fuck, in here? Sounds niggas get the book through at them we for this money? shit. This nigga's a clown. You a fucking this nigga's a clown and impersonator. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a clown. Nigga, you're a clown, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a bum, nigga. Go get some money, nigga. You ain't no nobody track, Mr. Old School. You ain't got no fucking money, nigga. Pull some money out. You broke ass, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You's a bum. Money, nigga, I pull fuck right out of here. Them ass. bitches dusty Every as fuck. Day, bro. Them bitches dusty as fuck. And you ain't got fuck. no bitches. You ain't I, got no that's fucking cool. bitches. I I'll say that. That's cool. You ain't got no bitches. Because right, when the right, police watching, I don't have no bitches. I'm a podcaster. Let me just interrupt and real quick. I'm only fans manager when the police let, watching. Let me just Clown interrupt ass, real quick. Nigga. Hey, you, bro. All right. Hold on. <laughs> People Spare try to pull that ball. pull that out on Sharp and stuff, too. Like, where's your bitch? I'm going to be real. Like, they Me and Sharp have been in the same group chat for like a couple years at this yeah. point, so I've seen some of the girls they spends time with. He definitely has some attractive women in his life. I have no idea what their relationship is, but also, you know, you got to respect it. Like fucking, if I had like all kinds of girls, I would probably try to keep some kind of distance between my professional life and bringing chicks around Thank all my you. employees and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. I am somebody who lives my whole fucking life on the internet, so it might be kind of different for me. But yeah. I mean, just because he don't necessarily, I just I seen him. I seen some women trailing him before. <laughs> <laughs> niggas better. Niggas I ain't really seen know, it. nigga. I'm I on tracks, boy. Fuck out of here. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitches. Who are you? I'm Lil who Kelpie. Who are you? Kelpie no one knows him. <laughs> Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie pimp. the clown. Fuck you ain't gotta here. know who I am, fuck bro. Fuck out of here. Fucking Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting said money what? every day. I said you Ben said Franklin knows who the fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a bitch? though? I'm calling you a bitch. I was in here chilling. Call me no bitch. We was all trying to be in here. What's wrong with you, nigga? What's wrong with bro? 